Well, guys, you know, we cannot celebrate the river and the river keeper without actually getting on the river, right? Up next, we're going to talk about paddle boarding, how much fun this is on the river. Yeah, we're hanging out. Stay with us. We're live and local and hopefully dry when we come right back. actually get off the Xbox and out the Netflix and come outside and step outside into the beautiful area in the Midlands, you may have heard the phrase the Congaree River Keeper. Well, it turns out <laughs> that's an actual guy. Bill Stangle, you are the, the River Keeper. I am your Congaree River Keeper, yeah. Well, what does that mean? You, I, I figured you'd have a beard and maybe some, some like um, big iron thing and you'd ask me for a, a password when I cross over the bridge here, but that's not quite the case. I've heard River Wizard before. No, I am, uh, I am the executive director of a nonprofit organization that works to protect the three rivers here in town. Okay. And so we do a lot of great work from taking water quality samples to right. commenting on permits to enforcing environmental laws. Sure. Now, when you talk about you keeping the river, I mean, the, the three rivers, the, uh, the Saluda, the, hold on, the, the Congaree, the Saluda, and the, what's the other one? We're right at it right now, the Broad. How do I not know that? I'm sitting on it, and I don't even know that for sure. But uh, it, because it's a nonprofit, how did that begin? How did it start? Did a group of folks say, you know what, we got to make sure these rivers stay clean and awesome? That's, that's pretty much it. We had some real issues going on. The organization's about six years old now. Okay. We had a major sewer spill, and people in the river community around here said, we've got to do something, and they found... Congaree Riverkeeper, they found the Waterkeeper Alliance and said, we need to start a riverkeeper here in Columbia. All right, right. And so then, bada boom, bada bang, there you are, Bill. Now a you are the A couple keeper years of later, I got in and I, I, I started running the organization. The and I've been doing it wizard. for three years. <laughs> river Wizard. Well, this weekend actually is the River Rocks Festival, fifth year in a row. Yes. River Rocks Festival, we're talking music and fun all to support your mission and keeping uh, this area as beautiful and clean as, as you do. But real quick, run that down for me. Yeah, so uh, River Rocks Festival is our biggest annual fundraiser event. It is a lot of fun. It's a great time for a great cause. We're going to have live music with um, Blitz and Trapper is our headlining band. Right. It's going to be absolutely amazing. We're going to have beer from Sweetwater Brewing Company, paddling, canoeing, kayaking, paddle boarding from the out local outfitters, and a great time to enjoy our rivers and support Congaree Riverkeeper. It's going to be a great day. Now, Lauren, I know you're working on having a fantastic day for folks to come out here and enjoy it as well. And it's going to be right here at Riverfront Park. Right well, here right? at Riverfront Park, right on the Columbia Canal. Okay, 12 bucks uh, in advance, 15 at the gate. Absolutely. Just like, see, I, I, I can memorize things. We're going to have a fun morning. We have some live music for you coming up this morning. We're going to head out onto the, uh, the paddle boards and kayaks out here on the, uh, the mighty broad river, as I just learned which river it is. I cross it every day to work, but that's all right. It doesn't matter. It's one of the rivers that you keep and the organization keeps here fresh and clean for us to, uh, to enjoy, come down and, and really make a, a nice outdoor adventure. Again, kids, get off the Xbox. Come out and see Bill. On Saturday, we're talking all things water and river. Is there, is there true there's a gator around here somewhere? Well, I think it's probably a little early for the gators to be up, so you're safe. All right, all right, good. <laughs> Look out for the gator. Don't feed the gators. Feed, feed the TV guys, not the gators. Guys, stay with us. We're live and local this morning on the broad, the mighty, mighty broad river. Guys, nothing says a Thursday morning on the river like some live music. Getting ready for the River Rocks Music Festival number five out here Saturday. Out here celebrating the, the fantastic three rivers that surround the Midlands. Of course, our river keeper, our friend, needs a little help from us to come out and enjoy a day of music and fun and refreshments. I'll support the great outdoors and, and uh, the rivers we live in around here. Fred Barry, you're with the Mustache Brothers. I got to tell you, I'm disappointed. I see no mustaches. No mustaches and no brothers, I know, but... We love them. We love mustaches. <laughs> We're got, a fan of them. Who does not love a good mustache? I don't know. Says not I'm us. not afraid to eat hot dogs in front of people. That's right. Yes, there you go. Like a party. <laughs> That's right. So introduce the band real quick. All right, over here on the bass fiddle, we have Mr. Jeff Graves. All right. On the fiddle, we have Ammon Bowen. All right. And over here on the mandolin, we have Walker Daves. Walker Daves. Guys, and you got, so you make up the Mustache Brothers, and yes. you're one of the bands playing. There's five bands playing on Saturday, correct? That's right, yep. Outstanding, guys. Well, I'm going to step out the way. I'd love to hear you play. You were in for a treat. Put down the coffee cup, turn the volume up in your TV and your surround sound, and take off. It's the, uh, the Mustache Brothers live on Good Day Columbia. She's a long way from Houston. Came down from tell you right on steam train bound for somewhere new. There's a rainbow on the mountain, she's waiting on the sun shine on through. Well, you wouldn't know the rain from the pain. 
unless she walked in her shoes. Standing in the rain, in the rain, go right side of wrong, wrong side of wrong. Standing in the rain, in the rain, go. She just waiting on some cowboy, last so hard and take it on. With a bunch of new school hippies, she went fiddle dancing in a tie-dye dress. In a Rocky Mountain rain came, and they all got soaking wet. She had all of her belongings in a cardboard suitcase sitting by her side. He pulled up in a Mustang, and she got in, and they just rolled away. Mascara running down her face Standing in the rain, in the rain go Right side of wrong, wrong side of gone Standing in the rain, in the rain go She's just waiting on some cowboy That's so hard to take it on If you're wondering if really coming out on Saturday to help celebrate the rivers and the river keeper here uh, is really worth it, well, why don't you hop on a paddleboard and enjoy, well, this, the broad river. As a matter of fact, we're live and local at Riverfront Park talking about the big Riverfront River Rocks party happening on Saturday in this very spot along with, with uh, Harper Barber. Did I say that right? Hartley. You got it. Har did yeah. I say that right? Hartley Barber. Yeah. There we go. You got to wear name tags, man. Get your gear on anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got an awesome kayak, and I love those. Those are comfy and fun. But this is the, the craze that everybody's talking about, the stand-up paddle boards. Right. The SUP, right? Sup. Sup. Sup, baby. Yeah. Sup. Sup. What is it about these things that people love? Oh, they're just a lot of fun, and they're really easy to use. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're welcoming for just about anybody of any size or skill level, too. So yeah, see, skill, skill level is the scary part here as we, uh, we mosey on down the river. All right, so I'm on my knees. So when you're going to start out on a, on a SUP, an SUP, mm -hmm. uh, a Senate paddle board, which you also rent out to get your gear on, right? Yes. Fantastic. It's the basics. You start on your knees, right? Just kind of get used to and get acclimated because there is a bit of balance, guys, that's required. Uh, you will go in the water. Start on your knees. Right. Start on all fours, actually, and push up with your hands. Okay. One leg at a time and just get your balance. And when you're comfortable, right. then stand up. I got my balance. I'm good to go here. Of course, we're, we're fighting the uh, the brisk current of the mighty broad river as well. So it's a if, you, if you're in Lake Murray or a little pond, it's probably a little easier. But that's all right. All right, so stand up. Are you sure I can do this? There you go. All right, here we go, guys. One foot at a time. All there you go. Left, right. Okay. Keep uh, your feet yes. forward, and you're good. All right. Now, where sh should I be? Center of the board, or should I be front and back? Does it really matter? It's best to be about in the center. Okay. okay. All right. Good thing I had a pedicure yesterday. That is for sure. This is great stuff. Now, where can people use these or maybe a kayak? In the river ponds, where, where are some great opportunities? Everywhere from the lake to the deeper, smoother flowing rivers, as okay. well as in the rapids, too. And we've got different kinds of paddle boards to take people so out. So you can actually, because I've, I've done the whole rafting thing down some of the rivers in a, in a kayak, which is mm -hmm. fun. People actually will do this through the rapids, too? Yeah. That it's takes a different the... kind of paddle board, but yes. Oh, shit, that's like karate kid paddle boarding, man. It's fun. I'm like, <laughs> it's okay. do you guys do tours and things like that? We do. Yeah. Awesome. Come on, get your, call, uh, get your gear on, come see a Hartley Barber, and uh, try your very own stand-up paddle board, uh, a kayak. But the whole thing is to celebrate the rivers, what we're talking about today, the River Rocks Festival number five, happening right here at this very spot, just off of uh, Hugey Street. You can't miss that by the AT&T Affleck Building. Come down and celebrate with five live bands, a whole lot of fun. And I'll bet you probably could even talk these guys into putting you on a stand-up paddle board and at least trying it out. Is that a deal? That's what we're going to be doing all day long that day. See, just like they want to race? So, yeah, let's go. Let's race downstream. Do a lot better. All right. Guys, stay with us. We're coming back live and hopefully dry in just a few minutes from the river. All right. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Guys, all morning long, we have been just here between the canal and the broad river, the mighty, mighty broad river. Just one of the three rivers that make up the area here in the Midlands. The Three Rivers area getting ready for the River Rocks Festival on Saturday, the 5th annual. River Rocks Festival, Bill uh, Stangler. Did I say it right? That's right. Stangler. Almost confusing with a Ghostbuster. 
I know it's somebody else. That's Egon Spangler. 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 Yeah. Spangler. Spangler. <laughs> Either way, you are the river keeper. You actually are the keeper of all things river. River wiz wizard. River wizard. <laughs> Anyway, so what do you do real quick? Yeah, so I run the organization. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I've got a great group of volunteers, a fantastic board of directors, a lot of people that support us, um, but I run the day-to-day -day operations. Everything from pulling water quality samples to filing lawsuits with our lawyers sure. to setting up events like this with our great team. This is going to be awesome. Of course, we're talking about the big party happening. Right here. Check this field out, guys. Right here, just off of Huge e Street behind the Affleck building is where the big party is going to be happening on Saturday. We're talking five bands. Fun food. Uh, I know that uh, Get Your Gear On is going to be out with some some SUPs. I think that Adventure Carolina is going to be involved. Yeah, just a lot of folks out here celebrating this great area. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see this field with 2,000 people on it having an awesome river party. I, I'm so looking forward to it. Now listen, you got to ask look in that camera, and you got to ask Lauren Oleski to create a fantastic day for us on Saturday. Please tell me the forecast is going to be good. I've been crossing my fingers all week. <laughs> It's going to be fun. 12 bucks for the tickets in advance, 15 at the gate. You can still get them on Saturday if you decide you want to hold off and come out. And what about kid prices? Uh, kids under 12 are free. I love free. So it's a great deal. And we're going to have a great kids area with a bounce house, a rock wall, and balloon art. That sounds awesome. Where does all that money go? The, the, the gate money, all that stuff? So the, the money that we make at River Rocks goes to support our work uh, every other day of the year fighting to protect these rivers. And if you haven't been on experience with rivers, you got to do it. The river walk here, the one over the stretches between West Columbia and Casey's, just gorgeous, gorgeous areas. Bill Stangler, the river keeper, making sure that the rivers stay a pristine area for us to come out and enjoy. You can come out and check out the music of five bands and a lot of fun. I went out and I tried my hand at a paddleboard on the river. I was a little bit shaky, but not too bad. You're still dry. I'm, well, I'm still dry. My microphone's still intact <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Saturday's the day. We're going to pull links for you at watch.com. I appreciate you. This is, this is such Thank a great, you. awesome area, too, and I don't think enough people know about it or enjoy it. Get off the Xbox. In fact, after 9 a.m., just turn the TV off. After a good day, Columbia, of course. Yeah, of course, after the show. Yeah, turn the TV off and come on. That's it. Guys, stay with us. Good day, Columbia. It's staying live, so stay with us until 9 o'clock.